As you probably imagine, subtraction works in Python in the same way addition works. It is also a binary operator. For example, if I had five apples, apples equals to five, and then I ate one, I could represent in Python using the subtraction operator by doing this. Apples equals to apples minus one. Now, if I show the content of apples, I have four apples. So this is how I use subtraction in Python to represent that I lost something. So um, let's use subtraction operator to plant grass. Yeah, you heard me. We're going to plant grass. So in order to do that, we need to replace the block right below our player with a grass block. So let's have a look at the list of block IDs and see what the ID for grass is. Let's proceed. So if I look at the list and I type grass, I can see that grass has ID 2. So I open a new file and I will save it right away as plant grass inside of my arithmetic folder. Okay, so in order to do this, the first thing that I need to do is to connect to Minecraft as usual. So connect to Minecraft. And for that, I need the lines from mcpi.minecraft import Minecraft then mc equals to minecraft dot create to do the actual connection. Good. Now, to plant my grass, I need to know where I am since I'm gonna place the grass block right below the, the player's location. So let's get, get the current location. Okay, and to do that, position equals mc dot player dot get tile pause all right so remember get tile pause gets you the location and it's it goes to this variable again you can name this whatever you want it's just a variable so it could be called just pause or just p doesn't really matter and then let's get the individual uh, coordinates let's get x let's get y and let's get z Sweet. Now we have the location. Now uh, to plant a block of grass below the player, all we need to do is instead of going up, like when we were jumping, we're going down. And to go down, we need to subtract from y. So y is y minus 1. And by now you know that, or you should imagine what this is doing. You should guess what this is doing. It's just updating the value of y by replacing it with whatever y was before, minus 1. So if y was uh, 50 uh, after this line, after this statement, uh, then y becomes uh, 49. Nice. Now, uh, remember that grass has id2, so I'm going to create a variable for that. You don't have to. Uh, you could just directly put the 2 inside of the function that creates the block, but I'm going to use a variable. Um, and then, um, let me add the comments here. Uh, subtract 1 from y, and then here, uh, place a grass block below the player nice uh, so let's place the block with mc dot set block x y z and grass which contains a value 2 good and this is it quite simple let's save it with control s and then um, how about we add the time module to uh, slow things down a little bit, time dot sleep. Let's sleep for three seconds just to give us time to go back to the game and see what's going on. So I'm gonna go back to Minecraft and I'm gonna find a place where there is no grass, like here. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna change the view with F5 so that you can see the player and you can see the ground. 
then I'm going to come back to the script and I will run it with S5. And then back to the game and there is my grass. So I'm going to do this one more time. You go back to the script, F5, back to the game and three seconds later, there is the grass. Nice. Now, if you were to plant a very large field of grass, then you would have to uh, do several arithmetic operations. And that's cool. Now you can do this. But uh, later, I will show you a faster way to build large structures, including a large field of grass. But for now, this is good enough. Now you know how to use uh, subtraction and addition to put uh, blocks, stack blocks, create uh, rainbows, plant grass. Let's move on. Uh, and later, I will teach you more powerful ways to uh, create things in Minecraft.